Minecraft, but I'm building with all the colors. Throughout this color series, I've done pink, purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, black, white, and brown. So for fun, we're gonna put all those colors into one build. Since I wanna use every color, we're actually not gonna let the wheel decide the amount of rooms this time. We have 10 colors, so we're building 10 rooms. We will let the wheel choose everything else though. Speaking of the wheel, let's find out our plot size. The wheel has been spun and it's gonna give us 30 by the, the biggest plot, okay. Actually, considering the fact that we have 10 rooms to build, a 30 by 30 plot works, even if it is ginormous. <laughs> Since we already know how many rooms we're building, this block disappears. Let's see what each room will be. Room number one is a kitchen. Room number two is a closet. Room number three we're gonna get an aquarium. Room number four is a theater. Number five is a storage room. Number six, is a bathroom. Room number seven is gonna be a pet room. Room number eight is a bedroom. Room number nine is gonna be a dining room. And room number 10 is a living room. This house is gonna have one floor and the style is gonna be cute. Okay, we're building a cute one floor home with 10 rooms and all the colors. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't know how this was gonna turn out, but ta-da, it's actually kind of cute. I thought all the colors might make it look ugly, but it actually kind of looks like a fun bouncy castle kind of house. Anyway, let me show you the inside. As you know, I made 10 rooms because we have 10 colors. So on the right, we have a pink room. On the left, we have a blue room. In the middle of the house, we have a black room and a white room. Then towards the back of the house, we have a purple room a yellow room, there's a red room and an orange room over here. And down the hallway this way, we have a brown room and a green room. Now real quick before we decorate, I decided to make a rainbow neighborhood. I've seen all your comments requesting that I put all of the colored houses together. And honestly, that's a super cute idea. So I'm gonna go build like a street and stuff and I'll be right back. Welcome to Rainbow Road, the road with every house I've built in this color series. It's kind of crazy to see them all lined up like this. I didn't realize I built this much. As you can see, we have this lovely lawn road with sidewalks and street lamps. I also planted a bunch of trees to match each house and added mailboxes. Starting over here, we have the basic red house. Next to that, we have the orange suburban. Over here, we have the basic yellow house, the green suburban. Next to that, we have the modern blue house. At the end of the road, we have the cute rainbow house that we just built. Then across the street, we have the cute purple house. We have the pink fairy tale house. Then next to that, we have the modern black house, the cute white cloud house and the brown fantasy house. I love all these houses, but which one is your favorite? They all look extra adorable when they're next to each other like this. Oh, but you know what's cool? When you look at it from the sky. Doesn't this look so cool? Well, anyway, now that the neighborhood is done, it's time to decorate our colorful house. Starting with the blue room, we're making a bathroom. And yes, uh, I am aware of the ginormous window looking in, but it's fine because we have blinds. Now you see me, now you don't. It's perfect. But anyway, for this bathroom, I want to make a big vanity area along this back wall. Um, we can have two sinks, two mirrors, some soap, a pretend blue towel, and some lights. Below the sinks, we could add a bit of carpet, and now I gotta figure out how to fit a tub and a toilet in here. I would have more wall space if I didn't make all these doorways so big, but it's fine, we'll make it work. Let's try putting a toilet over on this wall. This little button can be the toilet paper. And then over on this side, we can just make like a teeny tiny tub. We'll fill it with water 
and add a button for a faucet. Across from the bathroom, the pink room is gonna be the dining room. For the dining room, I wanna break up the floor a little bit. That way, we can put a pink carpet under our table. We could put the table like this. Then on each end, we could have a fancy armchair. On either side, we can have some regular pink chairs. And then on the table, we could have a cake and some plates. Moving on to the black and white rooms. The white room is gonna be a kitchen and the black room is gonna be a living room. For the kitchen, we could put some drawers over here. In the middle, we can have our oven. In the corner, we can have a refrigerator. And then above all this, we can have some cabinets. Across from this, I wanna have a big island so we could put three counters like this, three counters like this. Then in the middle, we could have a sink, some soap, and some towels. On the other side of the island, we can have some plates, we can have some stools, and then above this, we can hang some lanterns. Now back over here, we could have some paper towels, some salt and pepper, an egg, and I actually think I want to make this kitchen symmetrical. So, we're adding another fridge with a cabinet on top. In the living room, we could put a big TV on the wall. Then under that, I want to have a bunch of these cubbies. On top of the cubbies, we could have things like plants. We could have some creeper statues and pots. And above the TV, I want to add a bunch of clocks. I know it might be kind of weird, but I did do something similar in the blue house, where Basically, I kind of just pretended that each clock was representing a different time zone. But anyway, on these side walls, I want to add some of these little black and white flower boxes. Then in the middle of the space, we can add a cool modern carpet, a couple of single couches, then we can make a larger sofa, and then we can add some end tables with lamps on them. Now as we make our way towards the back of the house, this purple room is gonna be a pet room, this yellow room is gonna be an aquarium, the red room will be for storage, orange will be the theater, green will be a bedroom, and brown will be a closet. For this yellow aquarium, I've decided to fill it with puffer fish. Obviously, we first need to make this place look pretty though. First, we'll add a bunch of sand, then we'll add a bunch of water, then we could build with some coral blocks, add some smaller coral pieces, and then we can add our puffer fish. <gasps> Look at them swimming. For the purple pet room, even though it's for a pet, I actually want to make it look like a bedroom. So to start, I want to break this floor so we can make a fun checkered carpet. Then we could add a bed with a purple cover. On either side, we could have some end tables with purple lamps, of course. On the sides of the room, we can add some mycelium with purple grass. And then over the bed, we could add some banners and bookshelves. <gasps> Oh well, this is your bedroom now. I hope you like it! Moving on to the main bedroom, I think I want to do something similar, but because we have all these windows, the bed is going to have to go on this wall. We'll place the bed right here in the middle, add a green blanket, of course. We'll add some green nightstands with a couple of green lamps. We'll surround the bed with bookshelves. And then we'll add some banners. Oh shoot, I totally forgot that I wanted to add a carpet. Hold on. Ta-da! And now I know that brown room behind me is gonna be a closet, but I still think under the star window, we could add a few drawers with a plant and the creeper plushie. For this closet, I wanna start by adding a bunch of drawers over here, then I want two more over here and two more over here. Above the drawers in the corners, I wanna add these cupboards so we can store like longer pieces of clothing. Then above these drawers, I wanna add some shelves and wall cabinets. On the floor, we can add a carpet. Over here, we can add a mirror. Then over here, I want an armor stand. Here, I want an armor stand. And over here, I want an armor stand. On all of these, we can display um, all of our brown clothes. So we've got our brown hats, our brown shirts, our brown pants, and our brown shoes. Speaking of shoes, we can display a bunch on these shelves and then we can add a small bench so that we can sit and put our shoes on. Now over in this storage room, I want to decorate a little differently. Normally I use all those dressers and cubbies and stuff, but this time I want to use these red drawers. On top of those, we can have some red shulker boxes. On top of that, we can make some custom red wool shelves with a bunch of item frames and some mushroom chests. Look at how cute they are. We'll do the same thing over on this side with the shelf the item frames and the mushroom chests. Then to fill out the space a bit more, I wanna add some banners and we can add a carpet. Lastly, for this theater, I just realized that this floor isn't gonna work. I like making my theater rooms with like levels so that it actually feels like you're in a movie theater. So we're gonna have to dig down a little bit so that we have something like this. Now we can put a bunch of cozy chairs everywhere. 
could add some tables for snacks. We'll hang some banners with lights on the walls. We'll put the TV over here. And then on these tables, we could have carrots, cheese, bumpkins, and pizza. We did it! Now that the colorful house is complete, it's time for a tour. As we enter this house, on the left, we have our blue bathroom. On the right, we have our pink dining room. Over here, we have a white kitchen, a black living room. Then we have a yellow aquarium, a purple pet room for our sheep. Over here, we have an orange movie theater, a red storage room. And then down this way, we have the green bedroom and the brown closet. What's your favorite part of this colorful house? I think the bedrooms are my favorite, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and if you're new, make sure to subscribe.